السلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ومن ابينا علينا اجمعين واهلنا الكتاب امين. اوكي. Let's do some verb practice. How about synonyms, right? He, like, to know something, or to uh, understand something, or be aware of something, or be, you know, there's different synonyms for words. Uh, in Arabi, you're, you're, you have two different um, verbs, and they both mean almost the same thing. They're, they're sometimes used in different contexts. Um, there's another word for to know. Um, oh, wait, no, that's, to, that's for thinking. Um, so there's a lot of words like that are in Arabic that are synonyms. So hasiba is another one which means what? He thought. He thought. So hasiba is he thought or he accounted or he perceived or he calculated. Um, there's another word for um, to think, which is um, vanna. Okay, we haven't. It's not in this one. It's not, it's not in this book. Uh, it's not in this page. But vanna is another one to he thought. Um, there's another one, uh, there's vanna, hasiba, is there anything? Do you hear something? I do. The vent? Yeah. I think now it's turning. Yeah. 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 Um, I'll think of, if I think of it, I'll, I'll, I'll come up with it, okay? But there's Arafa, there's Alima. Um, also, there's, there, there's synonyms for um, studying. So what's, what have we learned that's to, stu to study? Sorry? Darasa. So Darasa is he study, okay? Um, there's, it's also, there's also another one for first, on, on the first column, which is Talaba. Talaba means, he liter it literally means he sought, or he um, looked for, or he searched for, but it's used mostly in the context of um, knowledge or education. So if I, if, if I said, Talaba um, al-ilm, like if you're reading someone's biography, like a, a scholar's biography, it'll say Talaba al-ilm fi you know, Baghdad or whatever. He sought knowledge in Baghdad. Um, so Talaba is used that um, says like more like he, he studied or he it's more specific like you know, he studied like geography or he studied mathematics. Um, 
Then there's, um, which we're going to talk about this one in a second, um, Qada. It's very, very common in the Quran, right? It means? He said. Qada Ibrahim. Qada Ibrahim. Um, then there's also, we haven't done these, um, uh, Takallama, which is another verb for talk, or he spoke. Takallama. Um, there's also um, the Haddatha. He discussed. Um, so just keep in mind that all of these verbs. Um, they're, yeah, this is actually a form five verb. So the, the root is kaf, lam, mim, kalam, speech. And this one, the root is had, dal, ka. Hadith to, or to a hadith or hadith speech, um, but we haven't done the form five. We haven't introduced them, but we're going to get to them. Um, so yeah. Uh, so just keep in mind that just like in English, there's different ways to say the same thing. There's synonyms. They, they exist in Arabic too. Talaba, um, how about Sister Tahira? Sought or he gained knowledge. Talaba, Talaba, Talabu, Talaba, Talabina, Talabata, Talabata, Talabna, Talabna, Talabta, Talabtu, Talabtuma, Toma, Talabtu, Talabtum, Talabti, Talabtuma, Talabtuna, Talab. Talabtu, Talabna. Uh, what's uh, Hua? Talaba. Talaba. And uh, Ia? Talaba. Talaba. And Anta? Talabta. And Anti? Talabti. Antum? Talabu. And oh, sorry. Talabtu. 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 And Nahnu? Talabna. Talabna. Okay. Um, how about Hasiba, Brother Afna? Uh, Hasiba, he thought. Hasiba, Hasiba, Hasibu, Hasib, Hasibat, Hasibata, Hasibna, Hasibtu, Hasibta, Hasibtuma, Hasibtum, Hasibati, Hasibtuma, Hasibatuna, Hasibtu, Hasibna. Excellent. Um, so, any questions? Alright. Um, Let's talk about Qala real quick, or, or actually, um, we're, we're just gonna, uh, I'm gonna talk about it, uh, it's, it doesn't come until later. Uh, well, let's, let's try to conjugate it. So, if um, Qala is like the most commonly used word for he said, right, it's, it's everywhere in the Quran. Um, so what, what we're going to do is basically conjugate it, but I'm not going to explain why we're conjugating it this way. Um, this is just to show you that this is just because it comes in the Quran so much so that you can get used to it. Okay, if I want to say he said, what do I say? Qala. Qala. Okay, this is for huwa, right? He said. Um, where is the subject? Hidden. Hidden, right? So for, for huwa uh, and for here, the um, the subject is always going to be hidden. Okay, when we get to it. All right. How would you say two of them said? Qala. Okay. So I'm going to write the same thing. Qala. Okay. And then what's the file? What's the subject for for huma? Qala. So it's an alif, right? Alif. Yeah. So this alif. Is the the dual uh, the subject? Okay. Oh, yeah. And what about uh, a group of them? Alu. Alu. So this this lamb after this lamb I have to put the, the wow right. So this wow. wow is my subject, and then this alif is just a spelling. Okay. All right. So we have qala qala qalu. So you probably come across qala and qalu. What about qala? Uh, 
Have you seen that in the Quran? Yeah, it's in the Quran, right? So when um, Adam alayhi salam and Hawa, um, they eat from the tree, um, it says like, Qala, um, like they make the dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. So it's, it uses Qala. So if you notice, it's going to have Qala with an alif. So you pronounce that in the Quran differently. You, with this one, you just say Qala, like Qala Ibrahim, right? But this one you say Qala. So you, you make sure that that alif is there, you is pronounced. Okay? How about for she said? Qalat. Qalat. Right? So there, there's my Qala. And then I'm going to add this da for showing that it's feminine. Okay? Um, but the, the subject, like we said, is hidden. It's not there. Alright? So what would it be for two females? So I have qalat right here, and then what am I going to add in the, the black is the, the alif for the two. Alright. So so far it's been standard, right? You can do you can do up till here for any verb that that is on this this sheet, right? Right? They're all fa'ala, fa'ala, fa'alu, fa'alat, fa'alata. Right? Um, what happens when we get to Sunna? So what have, what have we usually done when you have something like Fa'ala, right? And you get to the Hunna, what you put a Sukun on the third radical, right? So you say Fa'alna, Fa'alta, Fa'altuma, right? Um, what happens if you put a Sukun on the lamb here. Oh. Uh, you end up with like qal. Actually, it's not, that's not what's going to happen. Um, we, uh, I don't think we've talked about, uh, we've talked about it a little bit, we, but we've said that the wow and the ya are what? They're weak, they're weak letters. So when they come inside of verbs, um, they follow different rules. And we're going to, re- we're going to go over those rules in, uh, after a while, but one thing that happens in Qala is that this alif gets dropped. It gets dropped and what you end up getting wow. yeah. is you get Qaf with a Dhamma and Lam with a Sukhma. Oh, so it's like Lasna. Yes. So Laysa, right, with Laysa, you have Ya in the middle, right? So you say laysa, laysa, laysu, laysat, laysata. Then when you get to the hunna, you drop Lash. the ya and you say lasna. So this is similar to that. Every so there's different rules for these, but one of the rule for this one and this one is qala is similar. But in this case, instead of qala, the qaf, the fatha changes to a dhamma. So you get qul, and then you have to add the, the subject for the hunna, which is na. So it's qulna. This is in Surah Yusuf where the women of the, the in Yusuf, like where Yusuf was living, they said, قُلْنَا حَاشَ لِلَّهِ So when Yusuf, alayhi salam, like she calls, she calls like Yusuf to come into the room and he's like very handsome and they say, قُلْنَا حَاشَ لِلَّهِ So they say like, like some like second expression. Okay. Um, all right, so basically once you know this, we, we don't, like we said, we're going to get to why this is, like why you drop this one. Um, but once you know this rule, then all of the rest are simple, right? So what would be for anta? You said qulta. Qulta. Right? And then, so all you do is qaf na qaf with a dhamma. Okay. So this is qulta. And then qultum. Qul. Qultuma. Let me write all of these. Qul, 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 Qul. Okay. So, for antuma is Qul, Tuma. Right. For antum is Qul, Tum. For anti is Qul. T and then Kultuma for Antunna is Kultuna 
And what's I said? Kulda. Kulda. Kultu. Kultu. And what we said? Kulda. Kulda. So the, the subjects are always the same, right? Um, and then this, instead of all, it becomes kul. Kulta is anta. Kulta is anta. You said kulta. Alright, let's go through these real quick. Kala. 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 Kalu. Kalu. Kalat. Kalat. Kalata. Kalata. Kulna. Kulna. Kulta. Kulta. Kultuma. Kultuma. Kultum. Kultum. Kulti. Kulti. Kultuma. Kultuma. Kultunna. Kultunna. Kultu. Kultu. Kulna. Kulda. Okay, what's a group of men they said? Kudu. Kudu. Kalu. Kalu. Okay, what's anta? Kulta. What's nahnu? Kulna. And uh, antum? Kulta. Alright, let's go over the homework for lesson three, and then we'll start lesson four. Is the battery? Oh, are the. Uh, still we have, put the timer on. Oh, okay, it's three minutes. Uh, what exercise was it? Eleven? Eleven, yeah. Alright, let's read exercise ten, Iqra Mayyadi. Okay, so these are the ordinal numbers, so if you want to say the first, second, third lesson, fourth lesson, fifth lesson, this is how you say it. What's the first lesson? Ad-Dabsul Awwal. Ad-Dabsul Awwal. Okay. Uh, what's, uh, so that's if some, the thing that you're talking about is masculine. What if it's something feminine? Like, um, look at the bottom. It says, Al-Awwalu Mu'annathuhu Al-Ula. So Mu'annath means like the feminine counterpart of it is Ula. Okay. Um, so it said the example they give is الطالب uh, الأول the first male student والطالبة الأولى first female student okay what's uh, second the second lesson الدرس الثاني okay the third lesson الدرس الثالث fourth الدرس الرابع الدرس الخامس الدرس السادس الدرس السابع الدرس الثامن الدرس التاسع and الدرس العاشر so all of these notice after the second one they follow فاعل the pattern is فاعل okay. um, alright so it says إن عدد الأسماء الأتية بالعدد ترتيبي المشتق من العدد المذكور أمام كل واحد so it says make um, put put the, uh, the the following numbers basically in the form of nine. The is it's changed. Talibatu is a feminine type. Yeah. Students, yeah. so it's not changing anything. The numbers. Well, which are you talking about a specific number? Yeah, number six, six. Uh, Talibatu. Yeah. So oh, yeah. They. they No, no, you, you can... That's um, yeah, so for... Uh, it's not... No so, also, yeah, they, I, I think they, they do the, the female ones in the next one, don't they? Yeah, next one is female. Yeah. So, all you do is, I think you put a tamakuta. Oh. Right? 